y'all i'm kayla with live oak nest welcome back to my home today i'm going to be sharing a quick tutorial with you on how to paint faux pumpkins so let's get started the pumpkin here on the right is what i'm going to be painting and the one on the left is one i've already painted so i picked up these pop pumpkins from michael's this year and i love them i love the shape the texture they look so much more realistic than a lot of the um, the fake pumpkins that you can buy around places so I picked up several of these I'll link in them link them in the description below they are I believe they're up to 40% off right now so it's a good time to stock up on your pumpkins and then if you don't get to um, making over all of them this year you can work on that next year so to get started, I'm just going to take this little um, bow off here and show you how this pumpkin looks without the bow. I also pop off the stems off of the, um, the fake pumpkins and pop on a real dried stem. So I always save my dried stems from my real pumpkins each year, but you can also buy them on Etsy. So I ran out this year and I ended up buying a couple and I'll link those in the description as well. So this year I chose to use Jolie chalk paints on several of my pumpkins. I used three different colors, the Legacy and Eucalyptus and Sage. So on this particular pumpkin, I'm just using two colors. I recommend using two colors. Um, it just keeps it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take the Eucalyptus and give this pumpkin a solid coat and let it dry really well before I move on to my next color. And um, I always also leave the stems on while I'm painting because it kind of just gives you something to hold on to. And then I pop them off at the very end to replace them. I like to use a blow dryer or a heat gun to dry the pumpkin in between each coat and it just kind of helps things move a little bit quicker. So once that first coat is good and dry, I'm gonna take another color and mix it with a little bit of the first color. So in this case, I started with eucalyptus. It's there on the left. I'm gonna take a little bit of the legacy, which is the darker kind of blue green color. And I'm gonna mix just the middle portion together. So I'll have the lighter color, a medium color, and then the darker color that I can work with to kind of um, add layers and dimensions to the pumpkin. Once that's mixed, you're ready to get to painting. I like this particular brush because it's angled and it's pretty stiff. So I feel like it helps me control um, where I'm gonna put my paint. And I also kinda like to use um, a dry brush method in a sense. So I'm gonna dip my paint into, or dip my brush into the paint and then offload it on a paper towel. That way I'm just not putting globs of paint down when I um, first touch my brush to the pumpkin. And then I'm just going to kind of trace through these crevices and add a little bit of paint um, into these little, all the little nooks and crannies on the pumpkin. So from here, I'm just gonna keep working with my three paint colors, blending them as I go. I kind of work too when I'm doing the dry brush method and like a crisscross hatch pattern. Um, and that just kind of helps to blend all of your brush strokes together and makes it look a little bit less like you just painted your pumpkin. So once your pumpkin is dry, you can head on to the next step, which is popping off the fake stem and then gluing on a real dried stem. So typically in all of these styrofoam pumpkins, you can just twist the stem counterclockwise and in most cases, they'll just come right out. So you can fill the hole with um, silicone caulk if you need to. I'll usually measure my stem and see if it fits my covers up my hole pretty good. And if I need to fill it, I will. If I don't, um, then I won't. But in this case, I wanted to um, cover up some of that red part of the pumpkin that was showing through. So I just took a little bit of my paint, covered that up, and I'm gonna let it dry really well before I hot glue on my stem. So you do want to use a little bit of caution when you're, when you're using your um, hot glue gun if the temperature is really, really hot because most of these pumpkins are styrofoam, so if your glue is too hot, it can cause that to melt. Um, but typically, if you put it on the stem and then just let it dry for just a minute so it starts to cool off a little bit, it should be fine. So once I hot glue my stem on, I just hold it in place for a bit, let it dry really well, and then you're ready to add a ribbon if you'd like. 
So here's a little look at how this particular pumpkin turned out. I think it's just so cute. You can use these basically anywhere. You can add them to an urn and make a pumpkin topiary. You can add them to a tablescape. I've painted several pumpkins this year and so I'm just going to kind of show you a few different clips of um, some of the pumpkins that I've painted and where they are. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to paint faux pumpkins. I love the look of these. I love that you can paint them year after year in different color schemes if you'd like. I think it's just a great way to be able to reuse pumpkins over and over. And it saves a little money if you're not having to buy new ones each year or buy real pumpkins and then throw them out. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all take care and I will see you again soon.